I'm getting rid of my belly today. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Lisa and I usually make beauty or fashion tutorials. Sometimes I share my favorite products. But today's video, I'm going to be talking about a body sculpting procedure that I did recently and I really wanted to share with you guys what it is and why I did it. This video is actually going to be a two-part video. The first part of the video, I'm going to be going through those details such as what it is, where I did it, how the procedure is like, why I chose to do it and then the second part I'm going to be talking about the results and how I felt about it and whether or not it is worth it. I'm going to be waiting a couple of weeks and then I'm going to go in and show you guys what the difference is going to be. The first thing that I want to talk about is what exactly is True Sculpt. It is a procedure that helps you burn fat in a non-surgical way. I'm sure many of you have heard of what liposuction is. So liposuction is a way to remove your fat but it does it surgically meaning you have to go under the knife and there's a lot of recovery time. True Sculpt does pretty much the same thing by burning your fat, but it does it over your skin and you don't need any downtime. So True Sculpting is perfect for people with stubborn fats. It is essentially areas of your body that is very hard to burn off despite your efforts in diet and exercise. For me personally, my area was around my waist and my stomach area. This is not a procedure to help you lose weight. This is a procedure to help you burn off fats in certain areas of your body that you're just really struggling with. And you should be more or less happy with the other areas of your body. You're just really unsatisfied maybe with one or two and you've already tried adjusting your lifestyle through diet and exercise, but it just really wasn't working without you going to the extreme end of diet and exercise. So for me personally, growing up, I've always known that my stomach area was what was really holding me back from feeling confident. Even as someone who constantly posts pictures, I rarely post pictures of myself in a bikini. I'm actually very happy with other areas of my body and even though I have things like a thigh gap, my stomach was just a lot larger than the other parts of my body. If this is your first time watching, you're not going to know this, but for all my subscribers that have seen my videos before, you'll know that every time I do a clothing haul and I get pants, I always tell you guys like, listen, I got a size 4 or a size 6 because I don't have a waist, but you guys should probably size down and that's because I'm very aware that my waist is just not really proportionate to the rest of my body. So to give you a little quick funny story, when I got fitted for my bridesmaid dress, what they do is they measure your body and then they take you in for a sizing consultation. And the reason why they do this is because once they order and customize your dress, they want to make sure that you don't return it and you know that you can't return it. During my consultation, they said to me, Lisa, like your bust and your waist puts you at a size zero to two. However, your waist is at a size eight. So what would you like to do? And I looked at them like, how are are you gonna make me decide between that? The sizes are so different and they even said to me like, I don't get it, like how is this happening? Well, I ended up going with a size six, but anyway, that was the only way to kind of like get my waist in there and then I had to fix the rest of the areas of my body to have it cinched in. Ever since April, I've actually exercised and joined boot camp and I would go every single morning, Monday to Friday, and then eventually like three to four times a week. Even that and eating healthier and eating less portions, I tried that for about four months, I started to really like the other areas of my body where my legs and my arms were leaning towards, but the one area that I just was not able to fix was my stomach. So I started actually looking into this procedure just because I was trying the best and most realistic lifestyle. I felt like if I did anything beyond that, I wouldn't really be happy anymore. So that's when I decided that I needed something external. And this is where True Sculpt comes along. TrueScope is a technology that involves using radio waves, basically, in a very um, controlled fashion to heat up the skin and the underlying fat in the body to the point where some of the fat actually goes through a process called apoptosis, which means a few of the fat cells actually die because of the heat, but only a few, and also the skin tightens. Now, there are several different fat melting devices around. This one I think is, at this stage at least, superior to most of the others because it uh, tightens the skin as well as getting rid of some of the fat. You can go right back to normal activity like an hour or two hours later 
there's essentially no downtime. Mm -hmm. So I think it's fantastic that way. You can have repeated treatments. Usually we recommend that repeated treatments be done like a month or two apart because the fat resorption process doesn't happen immediately. It takes a little bit of time for your body to go through a modification. You get exponentially better results if you um, have more than one treatment. Mm. It's so can you hold on your pants for me? Yeah. And where are we focusing on today? Huh? Well, okay, so basically my issue is that my entire life I have always known these three lines. Like so this one up here. It's less prominent because I'm not wearing a bra. Mm -hmm. But usually it's like here, here, mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, like this is I would say like pretty much the region. Yeah. It's all of yeah, that. And no matter how much I work out or exercise, this is yeah always there. Yeah, and that's very normal. Usually, when it comes to women and trying to sculpt um, their abdominal area, we do have a harder time compared to men. So I'm seeing it over here. Okay, so we'll focus definitely on the lower abdominal area. So when it comes to the true sculpt, there is six paddles. Everything has to be beside each other for you to see an effect. Okay. Okay. So um, I noticed that when you were sitting down, um, this protrudes out. We could definitely work with the lower. Sorry. Um, we also have this area mm -hmm. as well because you were talking about the lines. Yeah. Um, and what's really good about this is because it uses radio frequency energy, you're definitely going to see a skin tightening effect. We could just focus specifically over here. The other option is your flanks area. Notice that you have a little bit more on this side compared to this side. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're right-handed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that makes sense. sense. Yeah. <laughs> Usually when people are more dominant in one side, uh, they're more flat, especially when you're working out, you probably feel it more on your right side. So even just gotcha. focusing it on that side will definitely help. That's the thing about You are really a good candidate for this yeah. um, because just as you said, first of all, you got a good realistic, uh, I think, body image appraisal of yourself. <laughs> um, you've got a little bit of redundant fat there, despite being really skinny everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And so this is probably genetic to yeah. a significant degree. Uh, and it's so cool not to have this technology that can actually fix it. Mm -hmm. so Okay guys, spoiler alert, I did both options, but right now we are putting the grounding pad on top so it absorbs the radio frequency. And here we are doing the adhesives so that the paddles can go on properly. Um, so the first treatment is just in the front area. So we lined up the six paddles just sort of on top of each other. So for the rest of the video, I will be showing you guys the entire thing because it's a lot of just waiting for the 15 minutes to be over, but I will show you the highlights such as when I thought I was experiencing the most amount of pain, which spoiler, it actually isn't that much, except for the part when the heat reaches the top paddle. <laughs> She's sweating already. <laughs> I can get you. Here. Yeah. Especially this one, this one hurts a lot. Over here, right? Now it's here. You can tell, right? Yeah. Yeah. I keep looking at her face <laughs> when it hits the top one. Oh. You're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah, I don't feel the bottom one really. Can you use that? Yeah. Run that over a little bit. Cool it down. Thank you. It's like muscle, <laughs> it's like neuron confusion. So that was pretty much the most uncomfort that I felt, but that was pretty much it. And 15 minutes does pass by pretty quickly, especially if you bring people that you love in there so that they can talk to you while you're doing this. And now moving on to the second part of the treatment, which was my left and right flanks. So you can see here that I'm actually placing more paddles on my left flanks versus my right flanks because my left flanks had a little bit more fat than my right. So that is pretty much the placement of the second procedure. And before you know it, the 15 minutes is up and you are ready to go and you just have to now wait 8 to 12 weeks to see the results. Hi 
Hi guys, so this is part two of the video. So I did let the procedure do its thing for the last couple of weeks because like I said, it does take between eight to 12 weeks. I'm able to report back on my results and honestly, I don't know if you can tell from the smile on my face, but the results are honestly really amazing. So I will show a couple of pictures of my before and after so you can see my reduction. When people think of waist, people think the curvy end when you're looking straight ahead. That wasn't really my problem. My problem was more or if you looked at me from the profile, you'll see that a lot of it sticks out. When I say that my measurement is quite high in my waist area relative to the rest of my body, it was actually because it kept on pushing forward so that a lot of the fat cells were generating forward. My theory is that the fat cells that should have gone to my boobs, I just have no boobs and all the fat cells went like three inches south. So now it's like all here or it was all here. But anyway, so going back to the results, in terms of the measurements, the reduction was actually 1.6 inches. That's about like this much off. So that's crazy. And in terms of just like the way I feel right now, I've actually felt a huge difference. One of my biggest issues was I was never really able to wear high-waisted jeans just because I do have very lean legs. The fat doesn't ever really go there. So whenever I shop for high-waisted jeans, I'm either shopping for my waist which is two to three size larger than the rest of my body or I shop for my legs But then that means that I wouldn't be able to really wear my jeans when I did buy high-waisted jeans in the past Usually what I would have to compensate for is I would only be able to wear it if I know for a fact that I'm gonna be out for a short amount of time I'm not going to eat at a restaurant and lastly if I know I'm not sitting down So usually those are the times I'll wear high-waisted jeans just because you know like even going to work I would never wear high-waisted jeans because because I'm sitting down all day and when you sit down all of my fat pretty much just like really squeezes and it just gives me a huge stomach ache because my stomach would like press against my internal organs <laughs> so that's why it made me so uncomfortable if you see in all my videos whenever I talk about like oh my god I can wear these pants like I get so excited because usually pants are such a big problem for me and my body since it's like so not proportionate and a few sizes larger than the rest of my body anyway so from an experience standpoint that has been so life-changing even right now I'm sitting down wearing high-waisted jeans second thing I wanted to do is talk briefly about the pros and cons of this procedure so I did write a list starting with the pros the first one to me is probably the most important one it just has minimal to no risk because you're not going under the knife so there's no surgery involved this is just paddles on top of your skin so that's a really great thing the second thing is that there's no downtime so with procedures like liposuction for example you need to take I think at least a week off just to have your body recover but for a procedure like this after one or two hours you can go back to regular programming I had this procedure done on Sunday and on Monday morning I was at boot camp so I really had absolutely no downtime I went back to my normal life the third one is the procedure is actually very quick the procedure itself is 15 minutes obviously that doesn't count the consult and also the prep beforehand both of those also don't take a very long time and both of those are gonna be in involved in any other procedure anyway. So in reality, this procedure really only takes 15 minutes. If you do want to do multiple areas like I did, so I did two procedures, that brought up my total treatment time to 30 minutes. The next pro that I have is that you have the option of less treatments. With this procedure, you can do more if you like or less if you like. So I feel like this is actually a really great alternative and a really great option for people with minimal problems. You just like wanna solve something very small. For example, if you have a little bit of arm fat. I think that this is such a great option because it's just so little that you're treating that you don't really need to go and do, you know, something like liposuction or whatever it is. The last pro that I want to talk about is I think for me the biggest one besides the surgery, but this one is really in terms of how I feel about myself. I think that for a really long time, even posting this video honestly is actually quite nerve-wracking for me because this part of my body is probably the one thing that makes me so unconfident about myself. I think it was also really demotivating for me whenever I went to work out and I would get so skinny everywhere else and then no matter what I did my stomach was just always big I just want to show you guys this picture because I thought it was kind of cool so this picture was taken two years ago and I lost so much weight that year I, on average I'm like 110 115 and in this picture I was either a hundred or a hundred and five I was the skinniest I've ever been and honestly my legs like I couldn't feel any meat what was just
just so sad is that even when I was wearing my bathing suit, I was still so unconfident. If you look at my stomach, maybe like to some people, it's still not a big deal. But to me, it still made me feel super self-conscious because I also don't have big boobs. I have no boobs. So to me, I always felt like my stomach surpassed the size of my boobs. So that was something that I was always very self-conscious about. And alternatively, I'm going to show you this picture. This picture was taken a couple of months ago. So this wasn't even the full duration of this procedure. I think this was the seventh week in or six week, like not even the full length of the eight to 12 weeks. And you can see here, like I'm definitely at this weight point. I was not the skinniest I have ever been, but yet my stomach was already so much smaller than it was before. I was already trying really hard in terms of the other aspects of my life in the most realistic standpoint. And I was just still not getting the results that I wanted. Okay, so moving on to cons, because obviously everything has pros and cons. The cons, I would say the first one is that you don't see the results immediately. Right after you hop off the table, you're not gonna see the new skinnier you or whatever it is. It does take a long time for you to see the results. So for those of you who are looking for instant gratification, this is definitely not the procedure for that. But I also feel like this encourages other people to keep up their healthy lifestyle. So I think that's actually kind of turns it into a pro because you're not jeopardizing your own health by ditching all your healthy habits and stuff like that. So for the second con, I think only affects some people. There is the potential that you need to go back for a couple more treatments. For better results, you do need to keep coming back. So unlike a procedure like liposuction, for example, I think you can get everything that you need right away. With this procedure, it burns up to 24% of your fat each time. So you aren't getting all the fat that you wanted to get out in the targeted area. If you are looking to get everything off, you do need to come back for a couple more treatments. For me, like I said, even though it has made a really big difference already, I do think that I need to go back for maybe one more treatment, but I think that really depends on what area you wanna do and what problem. I think when it comes to the stomach area, it's very common for people to go back several times just because it does have a bigger surface area and you are targeting a lot more fat cells. The next con that I have is that during the procedure, it is a little bit uncomfortable. Obviously, that's not something that you can avoid. So if you want me to kind of talk about the feeling of it, it just really feels like if someone put like a hot kettle against your skin, it does build up gradually. For me, actually, the entire part didn't really hurt that much. The only part that really bothered me a lot was the one near my rib cage. That was the one that stung a little bit. But once again, it's not too bad in a sense that, first of all, it's only 15 minutes. And second of all, the paddles rotate in the heat so it's not just heating all six paddles for 15 minutes it alternates so that your body is able to rest the other con that I have is that these procedures are not cheap you either need to have a lot of disposable income or you need to save up a little bit more for me like I'll be saving up for my next procedure and that's because I just genuinely think that this was a problem that has been in my head something I think about every day every time I put on my jeans every summer for me this was like a very big mental struggle for many many years in the grand scheme of things what is the difference between me saving up for like a purse that I'm not even gonna wear every day versus like doing a procedure that's that I'm gonna be able to see the results every single day. If I haven't mentioned the price point already, full retail price of one treatment starts at $2,400 Canadian. If you go to Scarborough Laser Surgery and mention this video, you can get it for $1,800. That's like $600 off, but that is kind of like the price point you are looking at for each treatment and each additional treatment, you do get it for less. It's definitely something to think about, not something that you can just decide and you're like, okay, yeah, sure. It's definitely not an impulse buy. So I really recommend that if this is something you're thinking about, I would definitely recommend booking an appointment and getting a consultation to see if this is a procedure that you would be into. The last con, and it's not really a con, it's more of a reality check. It's just kind of a reminder that in order for this procedure to work really well and for you to maintain the results, you need to eat relatively healthy and you do need to still be exercising because once you stop all those things, it is possible that you develop new fat cells. At the end of the day, I think that this procedure is best for people who have already tried their hardest. That's where this procedure can really help you. 
So anyway, I just want to say if you are looking into a procedure like this, definitely book an appointment, book a consultation first to discuss your options, discuss, you know, your needs and seeing if this procedure suits you. But if you are in the GTA, definitely look up Scarborough Laser Surgery. I've left all their information below. And once again, if you mention this video, you can get a $600 discount. So yeah, I really hope that this video has either educated you, helped you or entertained you. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and I know this is something that I don't usually do but I do want to say that this is something that definitely has impacted my life a lot already. I just wanted to share that with you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!